While I was browsing the net, I saw an unfamiliar term that caught my attention, the words were transitional housing. I've seen a lot of housing types but not this one. Out of curiosity, I delved into it and here's what I found. Transitional housing is a temporary housing for certain segments of the homeless population. It includes the working homeless people who are earning too little money to afford long-term housing or permanent housing. Furthermore, this is actually a setup to transition those homeless individual into their permanent, affordable housing. This is not an emergency shelter, but a room or an apartment in a residence area with support services with a term from 2 weeks to 24 months as its maximum. According to Homeless Hub HTTPS colon slash slash www.homelesshub.ca slash solutions slash housing accommodation and support slash transitional housing. Transitional housing refers to a supportive, yet temporary, type of accommodation that is meant to bridge the gap from homelessness to permanent housing by offering structure, supervision, support, for addictions and mental health, for instance, life skills, and in some cases, education and training. In a nutshell, this is a temporary space to help homeless individuals be able to stabilize their circumstances and to be prepared before moving into a better life and a permanent residence after. Along the way to my discovery, I've learned a bit of trivia which are quite helpful in my understanding of transitional housing. 1. Transitional housing is generally for a limited time period. 2. It provides people with help after a crisis such as homelessness or domestic violence. 3. It is a temporary residence from two weeks of up to 24 months with wraparound services to help people stabilize their lives, and 4. It is a form of social housing offered by community housing providers. As I go even deeper into it, this housing can really benefit the homeless. What do we mean by homeless? To me it is those individual with no house of their own yet those lining outside the shelter to get a room for the night, and those with no place to live or sleep. I wonder why did they became homeless? As per my speculation and observation, I've come up with some probable factors and these are unemployment, the lack of affordable housing, poverty, mental illness lacking the needed services, and substance abuse. To support my understanding of this state of homelessness, as I search through, I discovered that there are actually four categories of homelessness and these are as follows. 1. Chronic homelessness is more of the health issues. It is used to describe people who have experienced homelessness for at least a year, or repeatedly while struggling with a disabling condition such as a serious mental illness, substance use disorder, or physical disability. 2. Episodic homelessness is more on the employment status of a person. It is when they are having recurrent problems with housing. Often these individuals have seasonal-slash-minimum wage income or sporadic domestic situations that affect stable housing. 3. Transitional homelessness is more of young generation who needs temporary shelter. These individuals are also likely to be younger and generally enter a shelter or temporary housing system for only one brief stay. This people staying with friends or relatives because they lack other housing opportunities. 4. Hidden homelessness is more of unregistered persons. Those individual without a place to call home, but who are hidden from official statistics and not receiving support. They can find themselves in precarious situations. Sleeping rough, squatting and sleeping on public transport and sofa surfing. These persons under the above mentioned categories are most likely to greatly benefit from this transitional housing. The question now is what are the benefits of transitional housing? I've checked the site of Vanessa Ryan. She was able to simplify it into five benefits of transitional housing, and these are as follows. Reduced crime. Since many people who use transitional housing are victims of domestic violence, simply getting them out of their situations will reduce crime rates. It will also take ex-convicts and other homeless people who may have felt forced to commit crimes to survive off the street and give them some sense of hope that things can be different disease prevention. For many homeless people, living on the street does not provide the sanitary conditions necessary for optimum health. In transitional housing, residents have access to clean water for bathing and oral hygiene, as well as support services on how to avoid STDs and drug-related diseases, substance abuse. Most transitional housing programs offer substance abuse support. 
substance abuse is an area of concern for many homeless people, and having access to effective support measures can help them get sober and stay that way. Many programs will also follow up once the recipient has moved into permanent housing, employment assistance. Since the goal of transitional housing is for recipients to eventually move into their own permanent homes, it is important to help them with finding suitable jobs. Assistance with resume writing, interview techniques and job search can help find jobs that will last. Self-esteem. Transitional housing benefits the self-esteem of the people who use it by giving them ways out of their situations and a sense of purpose about the future. Many people who wind up in transitional housing come from hopeless situations and are given a chance to make more of their lives. The skills and knowledge they gain from being in the program can give them a sense of hope as they move forward. It can be concluded that transitional housing is indeed the saving grace of homeless individuals. It gave a holistic approach to helping individual to be a better person as it prepares them to have the proper transition from their temporary abode to that of having their permanent home. It is a noble idea put into action it helps not just a certain individual but the community in general. It is like a domino effect, just a bit of good deeds but can affect everybody in the community. The effectiveness of transitional housing manifested itself since both public and private sectors work hand in hand to deliver the services need by the people.